have something ripped out of your life suddenly and without warning? The world that you thought you knew was no more. Yeah, well, that happened to me today. I came out here to make a video that you totally all would have loved, but instead I got this patch of dirt. <laughs> and this dirt may not be that surprising to you, but it was to me, because last week these were here. I didn't know what to do. I thought maybe if I scream out to Daniel Vandal, maybe he'll help me. Daniel Vandal, save me! No. All he did was break my drone. And the file got corrupted, and then I found some software to fix it, but then you had to pay for the software, and I didn't want to pay for it, so there's this watermark. Don't worry, I buried the drone there out of respect, of course. So what can one man that only owns one dip bar do? What good will that do me? So I'm going to make something that I could bring out here to show this dirt what should really be above it. Not all this open sky and chirping birds and pincher bugs that are about to get the camera. No, it should be metal and wood or just metal and just wood. I don't know, I haven't finished the design yet. Here's the finished design, and look, I made it look all nice for you guys. Check that out. And these are gonna have to be 22 inches wide and about 32 inches tall to accommodate my above average stature. At that size, they won't fit into my car that easily. But then how did you get your other bars to the park in the other video? I borrowed my girlfriend's car and she has a hatchback, it's bigger than mine. So what I did in my design was make the legs foldable. You see, you see that right there. So the legs can do a little twisty turny and they'll fold inwards. And since the feet will run into each other, we're just gonna do little cutouts like that and make them go into each other. It's so smart. My brain is so big and I'm so original with this idea. I didn't they see it anywhere or think of it. I thought of it all myself and it's so original. This is really good. All we need are these pipes and uh, little metal fittings there. Good God, that was so expensive. $222.94 for everything. Totally wouldn't have been cheaper to just buy this from like base bars. <laughs> like who had the original idea, right? And totally would have like saved me a bunch of time and effort and stuff like that. For this project, we're like $500 in at this point with the repair of my drone. But don't worry guys, I make literally tens of cents on each one of these videos. So I think I've got investing down pretty good right now. Anyways, looks like they're all built now. Oh, sorry, I forgot to do that. See, all done. All right, time to go test them. What? You wanna know how I made them? Come on, this is literally like the simplest thing that you could possibly make. All I did was take these one inch flanges, attach them to these wooden pieces. Turns out that I got the length correct where I didn't have to cut them or anything. It just worked perfectly from Lowe's. Those one inch flanges go into a one inch pole that is 32 inches or so high. I forget, I have the specs somewhere. Oh wait, it says 30 on the side. 30 inch tall, and then you connect it to a little elbow joint. Elbow, you have one of those. Actually, you have two of those. Uh, everyone does. And because these are threaded on the bottom, it lets them twisty twist. So that means if I just step on this and twist that one around, it rotates these little feet. Super duper 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 strong. But Jeremy, I hear you asking the real question. Will these fit in my car? Will I be able to destroy my dirt enemy with cold hard steel? No because I think these are made out of iron, so no, I wouldn't be able to destroy them with cold hard steel, but let's go see if they fit in my car. See, I don't know why you had any doubts that this would work. Like, it's perfect. I mean, maybe not the safest for like quick hand breaking, Ugh. but uh, it's exactly like I planned. On a bit of a serious note for a second, I just wanted to say thank you for everyone that supports me both on this channel and the comments and stuff like that and outside of it. It's people like you that keep me going, that keep me making videos. I definitely would not be able to do it unless I had some support. So big shout out to everyone that subscribes, that likes, that helps me out in my every day to day. I appreciate you. All right, enough with the sappy stuff. Let's get to using these things.
Well, that was pretty satisfying. Oh, I just got an email from the parks department. Let's see what they say. We're going to be replacing the equipment with newer and more updated equipment. 